Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Corepunk. Today we're going to talk about the nearest class we have been, well, got revealed so far. Yesterday on the 24th December, we got the new class of reveal called Warmonger. Basically, it's the orc that we have also seen in trailer. I think it is the orc we have seen in the trailer. And we are going through all the specs now to see what this orc character class called Warmonger can. And trust me, at the moment, I think this is my favorite class. I think if I should play any of the four classes we have seen so far, it's probably the Warmonger. It has some really interesting specs, and I think we should go directly to it. So the Warmongers, you can see background, the law behind it. The class is only the strongest of the orcs can become a Warmonger, heartened by innumerable battles they won't be stopped by any threat with countless combat under the belt warmonger is a skilled warrior fearing neither pain nor death itself they can bring down enemies with suppressive heavy fire or hold the front line with spear and shield and if necessary warmonger can summon a forest beast to help them yeah exactly listen to that last part forest beast well the first spec we're going to talk about is the Legionary. That's the one we saw in the trailer, the first trailer of uh, Core Punk. And that's the one where you have a spear and shield. Legionary is a tank who fights with a spear and shield. They specialize in controlling enemies. They can stun and slow an enemy with their mighty strikes and blow, blows and make them invulnerable to their abilities. Their ultimate ability enables them to easily withstand a lot of damage very very interesting i think if i should say any of the characters in heroes of storm that reminds me most of this character here the class well the spec the mastery called legionary it's probably going to be i think it's garrosh and you'll know later why the first spell we have is the q spell wonkamonga smashes the enemies in front of them with their shield dealing physical damage their strikes knock enemies back and makes them vulnerable if the ability hits the enemy casting a spell, the ability is interrupted and goes on cooldown. That's pretty cool. So you can either you know, damage, but also you can interrupt spells. It's an instant cast. It has 2 meter range. We can see the damage to cast and it's 9 second cooldown. Then we have the spell. And this is why I said Garrosh in, you know, in Heroes of Storm because of this one. And Garrosh can do the same. So I think they got some inspiration there from. So... <laughs> I see what you did. Warmonger throws the nearest ally or enemy to the target area. All enemies in that area take physical damage. The toast enemy also take damage and stuns. All vulnerable enemies within landing area. Uh, oh, sorry. The toast enemy also takes damage and stuns all vulnerable enemies within the landing area. So basically, you you attack the people, just the person you are throwing, but also stunning everyone that is like getting hit by him allies doesn't take damage so basically this means if you are in a raid and there's someone you don't like you can basically toss him out of the over the edge it sounds like Oof, that's pretty rush the cast time is instant the rage is two meter we can see the damage below the cast and the cooldown is 16 seconds so not much i mean we have a cooldown on nine seconds 16 seconds and then the next spell, the E spell, Warmonger re read readies, 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 and throws. Sorry, I, I haven't seen a word. Well, Warmonger readies and throws a spear in the target direction. The throw gain extra range and damage to the longer the Warmonger spends preparing to launch the spear. It deals physical damage to all enemies in its path and slow them. If the spear hits a vulnerable enemy, it taunts them, forcing to attack Warmonger for two seconds. It's pretty cool. So it's like a spear that just pierces through enemies and also can taunt. Cast time is from, I guess, zero to three seconds. So, you know, the longer you actually like hold it down, the better the range of damage is going to be. And it can go from, from four to ten meters freaking 10 meters we have the damage we have the damage increase below the cost and the cooldown up to 10 seconds and you can increase the damage up to 90 percent holy moly that is a lot that's a lot the last spell for legionary is the r spell the ultimate 
Warmonger removes all crowd control effects on themselves for 5 seconds. Spirit. Sorry, uh, it's because the stat is spirit. They take reduced damage, gain more bonus movement speed, and bonus crowd control reduction. Warmonger restores a po portion of their health on an enemy kill or assist. Aha. Uh -huh. Pretty cool. So it's like, you know, it's like a typical tank cooldown where you just like get strong or something like that. So cast up an instant, the damage reduction we can see below goes from 40, 50, 60, 70. Movement speed increases 10, 15, 20, 25. And crowd control con reduction, crowd control conduction, reduction can go up to 25%. And it has, in it, it seems like in max level, this spell is getting all the way down to 40 seconds cooldown. That's amazing. That's amazing. The, the special abilities that, you know, each of the mastery specs has special ability. Each time the Warmonger hits the target with the ability, they gain 5 armor and 5 magic resistance for 10 seconds. The effect stacks up to 5 times. 20% of Warmonger's armor and magic resistance is converted into bonus attack power. Warmonger deals bonus physical damage to target under effect of crowd control. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, I think he, he's a very interesting tank. I like it. I, I can definitely see this tank is going to be useful in PvP. And that's one of the things I have read about this game. That tanks would not be able to be used in PvP. But it's cool. I, I, I really like this guy. I really like this guy. The next one is Commando. He's not my fairy one. I am, I'm not really into ranged guns. But still, let's see what this spec can do or the mastery of... You know, the Vormonger, the number two mastery. Commando is a ranged hero, an excellent minigun shooter. The heavy fire penetrates enemy's armor. The poor mobility and long reload time is balanced with the ability to deal heavy damage within a short period of time. The first spell is the Q spell. Vormonger fires a torrent of shots from the minigun at the tar target direction for 3 seconds. Every 5 seconds, at all enemies hit take physical damage while shooting Mormonger can still move and then it has an improvement i'm not quite sure what this improvement is yet let's try to get over to the special abilities um now not 100 sure what what it could be but uh, let's uh, let's just keep that one in mind like let's save it uh yeah, let's save that one. So each of the spells, as you can see, have like an improvement. But I'm not 100% sure what that is. But let's see what that is. But it says improvement critical strike chance increased by 10. So it seems like this spell, when you use it, it actually like you get 10% more critical strike. I don't know how it's, it puts together, but yeah. Cast time on this one is 3 seconds. So it sounds like you can actually, yeah, you can just like use the spell for over 3 seconds. Range is 7 meters. That, it's a pretty long range at 1, this one. It has a damage spread, as you can see there. Like, it goes all the way up to 345. Then we have a cost of 1 ammo. Yeah. Note that one down. 1 ammo. Then we have the next one, the dump view. Warmonger throws a smoke canister dealing physical damage to an area. Enemies have their sight range reduced, and while they are in the range of smoke, their movement speed reduced by 50%. And then also here it says improvement, all enemies hit are rooted. So it seems like for some way the commando he can improve his spells. Not sure how it works, but he can. The cast time here is 0 0.2 seconds. Again, range is 7 meters. We have the damage and the cost is 1 ammo. Then we have E. Warmonger fires a piercing shell in the target direction, hitting all enemies in its path. Enemies take physical damage and armor reduction debuff for 5 seconds. The effect stacks up to 3 times and then it also can get an improvement, like an, I guess it's some kind of upgrade. Critical damage increased by 50%. Enemies are knocked back and get the maximum amount of armor reduction stacks. Ouch. That is a evil improvement. Cast time is 0 0.2 seconds, range is 7 meters. And then we have the damage and again it costs 1 ammo. Then we have the last one, the ultimate one, the, the R spell. 
Warmonger places a tripod and mounts a minigun on the ground. The damage they deal increases their abilities are improved and have increased range. Mm. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So that is the that is the improvement of each of the spells. That when you use this this tripod, then the improvement effects on your spells activates. While the minigun is fixed on the tripod, Warmonger can't move. When Warmonger recasts the ability, they uninstall the tripod and picks up the minigun. Cast time is 0 0.3 seconds. Damage increase is 10, 14, 17, 20%. And ability in range increase from 1, 2, 3, or 4 meters. Pretty cool. I like that. The special one here is Warmonger has no cooldown on abilities. Wow, but they consume one ammo and Warmonger has four ammo in stock. The minigun fires at a fixed rate. Warmonger reloads the minigun upon activate. Sorry, Warmonger reloads the minigun upon activating this special ability. Reload time is four seconds. And it can be fast depending on attack speed. So this is very, very, very interesting because you can use all your spells with no cooldown. You can just like shoot, 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 shoot. I mean, if you go back, that, that's actually a fun fact because see, none of the spells has cooldowns. You can basically just use all these spam, 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 but you only have four ammo. And when you're running out of ammo, you have to reload for four seconds to get your ammo back. I can really see this as a risk one in PvP, but still, I can really see also this gonna be. I mean, if you see someone on the team having this guy in behind, you just you you have, you gotta kill him. You have to kill him. You have to kill him. The last one is the most interesting of them all. She sounds so well. It's just a picture, but this shaman sounds so interesting, and it reminds me so much of the enhancement shaman from world of warcraft and that is so cool shaman is a melee fighter coming from kindred of orcs who can talk with animal spirits and command the elements they wield different type of fist weapons to devastating effects the basic attacks will mark the enemies and the mark can empower shaman's other abilities the q spell is going this way warmongers leap toward a target and deal physical damage the next four basic attacks debuff the enemy re and reducing their armor and magic resistance for six seconds. The effect stacks up to four times. A mark reduced enemy movement speed is well, a mark reduced enemy's movement speed by 50%. It's pretty cool. So basically, it has a cast time on 0 0.3 seconds. In range of five meters, we have the damage, the armor and magic resistance reduction, and the cooldown. So basically, you are leaping up to five meters. I mean, you can just like jump five meters directly to the enemy. Insane, insane. And then also, you're putting this mark on your enemy that is it's pretty cool. I like, I liked it. I like it. The next one is the W. Warmonger increases their there and the summoned wolves attack, wolf attack speed and movement speed for seven seconds. It's instantly cast time, increasing the attack speed you can see depending on the level of the spell it seems like increasing the movement speed and in max level you get 60 percent attack speed holy moly and the cooldown is only nine seconds ouch then we have warm uh, the e spell warmonger hits the target with a lightning bolt and it bounces so uh, bounces three times the nerve enemies dealing magic damage a mark stuns an enemy for two seconds. Cast time is 0 0.8 seconds and damage is scaling up. Cast is scaling up and the cooldown is five seconds. The last spell is a long one. It has uh, three pages to spell alone. But the first thing is it summons the wolf to fight for the warmonger. Wolf's health, armor and magic resistance equals to 50% of spirit of the spirit of warm well of warmonger's attributes so basically the the stats of the warmonger the wolf gets 50 percent of that but it increases those 50 percent depending on how much spirit you have wolf deal physical damage 
And when the wolf dies, wolf will suffer 20% of the maximum health. So that means if you send your wolf to attack some, a group, they kill the wolf, you lose 20% of your health. Just so you know. If you recast the spell, you probably you know when you already have the wolf and you recast it, targeting an enemy makes the wolf bite the target, dealing bonus magic damage every four basic attack if the well. Targeting an enemy makes the wolf bite the target, dealing bonus damage for every four basic attack. I guess for the next four basic attacks. If the wolf bites a marked enemy, the wolf restores Warmonger's health in amount equal to the damage dealt and taunts the enemy, forcing them to attack the wolf. That's cool. Targeting Warmonger makes the wolf come back to Warmonger. Targeting the wolf makes the Warmonger sacrifice a portion of their own health to the wolf huh so many options so many options really cool i like that i like that and the stats of the spell is the wolf summoning takes five seconds so you probably want to do this before combat recast spell you know the the, the biting one or the effects is 0 0.2 holding the ability key will call off the wolf so you can also like dismiss the wolf range is 10 meters cast time 0 0.2 again range is 8 meters so you, you know it has like different effects depending on you know depending on which effect you're using here it has different spec effects the buy damage the cast the recourse the uh, recast at the cooldown it's pretty cool pretty pretty cool then we have the special ability basic attacks grant a stack up to five maximum each stack increases attack speed by 5%. At max stacks, the next basic attack deals bonus magic damage and marks an enemy empowering in Warmonger's ability. And then we have the damage blow. So basically, every time basic attacks grant a stack up to 5 times. So that means every time you reach the max, you mark the enemy. And depending on which spell you're using from the shaman tree, it does some, something different. It, it has like a different effect you can see here in this one here it has um the effect stacks of no, 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 no. Um, the next four basic attack da, 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 da. the effect stacks up to four time oh yeah there was there's one here the one one leads towards the target of deep physical damage the next four basic attack deep of the enemy reducing their magic resistance the effect stacks up to four time a mark a mark reduces the enemy's movement speed by 50 percent so if you have a mark enemy and you use leap you're reducing the to 50 percent and over here you have this one here that didn't do anything uh, over here if you have if you're using a lightning ball on someone and you have to mark on him you will stun him for two seconds and this one here was doing oh you had to buy it where the bite will actually you know like restore health and so on that's a lot of things so that is basically the warmonger in Corpon. it is at the moment, the class that is most appealing to myself. Um, I'm sure everyone else has their own. Maybe someone better like the champion, the bomber, the paladin. But we have the Mormonger here also. We are getting more class revealed soon. We are promised, I think, we are getting the first six classes in December, I think. Or maybe in January we will get some of them. But I think in December we're getting the first six classes. That means we only need two more. The next two is going to be the demon and it's going to be the dwarf. So it's going to be very interesting to see who these guys are. So thanks for watching, everyone. Leave that a comment. Let me know what you think about the warmonger. And well, Merry Christmas, everyone. And have a happy new year. Peace out and see you in another video.